hello guys welcome to my youtube channel paul designed it and today i'll be showing you how you can create a beautiful flyer for your bakery business and i'll be doing that on canva all right if this is actually your first time designing or using canva to design this is how the interface for canva looks like and on this top menu all these things you see the social media presentation video marketing all and all and all they are all buttons that whenever you tap them it brings out list of templates you can use for that specific design like the one they wrote for social media if you are making a design for your social media a design that will fit on facebook fit on instagram fit on every other social platform then you should click on on that and then it opens you up to varieties of templates just like this second one you have here you have the mobile video instagram post logo whatever you want to do you just click on it and choose the templates that best fit and it's usually advised you use a template if you are not good with design why is that because you don't or you might not know how you can com combine colors or how you can combine typography or the elements on canva you might not know where they are found or the particular keyword for you to the particular keyword to locate them with so most times it, it is usually advised people just use use um, a template while designing but the whole thing here is as a graphic designer who wants to harness one skill creativity is involved and when one becomes one way to grow your creativity is doing your designs from the scratch all right, I'm sorry the video is taking more, much of your time to, to, to start, but I just want to lay a foundation so that when we start, we start. All right, when you start from scratch, you tend to play around from the background to the elements, to the text and all. But that being said, the choice is still yours to make. Now let's jump on it. We'll be creating a flyer now What we and we'll be doing it from scratch. We are not using templates here. The first thing you need to do is click on the icon that has a circle and a plus on it now it gives you a list of uh, workspace size to pick from the first one says mobile video instagram post no logo no your story no then we come down to flyer and we need a portrait a portrait uh, flyer so we click on it now it, it opens up to a fresh page watch what will happen whenever it opens it still suggests you pick a template to use when this uh, canva opens it would give you the option of choosing templates but like i said earlier we are not doing anything using any template we are starting from the scratch all right i think my network is a bit okay it has come up now you can either choose uh, summer school food whatever type of design you are searching for if you want to use the template use it but like i said we'll be going from the scratch now the first thing you might want to do is replace this background this there's nothing on this background now so what we'll be doing you can either add colors choose a particular color for the background now the background is filled but that's not what we want to do so i will delete that one and then i will tap on replace now when i click on the background and i click on replace i want to replace the background with something else now these are items images on my on my phone some uh, designs people sent in well for the upload function these are uh, designs i've used on on canva uh then i will just go to photos which are canva photos some are free while the others are available when you are using canva pro so what i will be doing here is search i need a white background i've searched for it before let me just type it in white background all right then i pick the first one all right you can you can see now that the background is filled all right then the next thing we want to do is import a picture a chocolate cake picture you click on the plus sign and you look for you go back the the, the first one is templates we don't need that elements we don't need that then this gallery is um the images on your phone you can import it from here or you go to your upload but since i already have it on canva i'll just click on it just to save time all right i would go up a bit and then stretch oh well, i wasn't supposed to i wasn't supposed to cut all right now look i made a mistake but above this control button the arrow going back is like 
to undo what i've done so i will just click on it once click on it twice click on it the third time the fourth time that's fine then if i want to also redo it i go back again then all right so what we need to do is stretch it i need to stretch the image all right stretch it so it fits so it fits so well so it fits so well all right all right after that all right all right all right all right so after that what i would want to do again is to get a circle and to get those shapes i click on the circle icon with a plus on it purple circle icon with a plus on it and i go back to elements 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 i can you look at the top menu here it says lines arrows frame circle whatever but if you still come down you will see lines and shapes so i would go with the circle i think i should drop a video on canva elements to help you understand better how to use them because canva has a whole variety of elements that are cool to use so i think i should drop a video on it very soon so what you need to do is well i think my phone is hanging or so all right no it's not hanging reduce the size to fit all right reduce the size so it fits and um increase it a little now there is there are control buttons here 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 if you look the first one says edit shape uh delete duplicates duplicates is what we need so we tap on it duplicates we take it back now watch something whenever you are placing object on canva it helps you watch the line the purple or the pink uh, that, that's pink or purple <laughs> one of them obviously uh, watch the line those lines will help you in setting out your design Be choosing the right um what's it called choosing the right measurement and all so that's just it uh i think okay it's it's okay it's okay now the next thing we need to do is is it really okay all right let me confirm if it is of the same size okay it is of the same size now the next thing we need to do is also duplicate it again come to duplicate duplicate it again and this time around we reduce it we reduce it uh there's no measurement for the reduction just do it at your own will at whatever size you desire reduce it reduce it duplicate again all right duplicates and um you can see how cool it is that's fine tap again now duplicate again duplicates uh, but this time you reduce it smaller it should be smaller than it was at first i'll probably increase it a little increase it a little increase it a little and most times this oh, wow yeah okay 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 should i reduce this a little and probably reduce this a little yeah okay now we've gotten part of what we want but i can't have these colors looking this way so i will turn all of them into white all right click on color tap on white now they said the command that came up says change all orange looking colors to white i just click on change all and all of them becomes white but just in case yours don't pop or do it do it manually click on each and every one of them individually and let them pop let them change the colors so that that being said that's fine but if you look closely if you look closely you see the circles are quite different from the background now what do we do click on one of the circles go to your colors all right calm down scroll down scroll down look at this color they said photo colors here is where you get the colors on the photos without going to any without using any tools to find out what is the name of this color what is the 
um rgb code the hex code whatever you just come to the photo colors and choose this let's see if they have the same color you change all yeah i think now they have the same color yeah now they have the same color so the next thing we want to do is add our pictures the pictures of our of our beautiful looking cakes but the next thing is to get a frame a frame a frame this is why canva is very beautiful when you come on elements all you need to search for is frames don't worry i will be dropping a very short video on canva elements to help you understand better how to use canva elements and all use them to your advantage without much work doing don't without doing much work on your design so i click on the circle frame and that's it when you click on the circle frame i try to take it there so i can get the measurement that best fits all right all right okay oh man i think okay let me touch it a little okay that's fine I still duplicate again and get the one I duplicated and take it to this part. Yeah, just to get things right. Yeah, sometimes it takes time to get these lines all fixed. So work with the line, work with the line so your works will be aligned. That's right. Oh wow. Something is happening there. <laughs> Something is happening there which doesn't fit. Alright. So I will put this one down a bit. Nice. Well, sometimes it will take you time to get all these stuff aligned. So don't be like, oh, this should not take this much time or so. Then I still, <laughs> sometimes it will take a whole lot of time. So I duplicate again. Now I will get this circle very small, not very small, like small, small, but at least okay for the size and drop it down here, here, oh man, I think it's quite far from the actual box though, so let me increase it a little. that's nice that's nice that's nice so the next thing is duplicates again remember what i do here i do there so i can get the actual well i missed it again all right okay that's nice okay the next thing we need to do is oh wow i get the circle out duplicates duplicate the one at the center so i just duplicate it uh let's give it another color so we don't have to mix it up now go to photo colors and we choose we choose the chocolate color and that's it that's it well sometimes you might have to do a lot a lot and a lot and a lot of working here yeah. it's quite it's quite usually not easy most times it's usually not easy it's not easy honestly it's not easy most times trying to get these things to fit trying to get them to fit all right let me get let me get them arranged let me get them arranged right sorry for the time sorry for the time let me get them arranged wow wow man I need to crop this crop the cake up picture of the cake i need to take it up I'll reduce this a bit. Oh man, and that shouldn't be there, man. That should, that should be somewhere close. Wow, this circle should even be at the front. Thank God we're making all this error, so you see how it has been done. This circle at the back, if I want to get it to the front, 
I scroll down to the 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 command that says I'm getting the I think okay position position position. Now I would get it to the front or I don't if I click to the front everything it comes forward. If I click to back it sends it backward. So what I would do is click forward 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 forward. Yeah, I've gotten it to the exact spot I want it to be. All right, so what I will do now is try and set it to fit what I want. Oh, it's usually not easy getting all these things together. It's usually not as easy as it seems. But it's usually not as easy as it seems. Wow, 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 wow. Alright, thank God I've gotten this one. So, uh, there's a, a cheat now I want to use. No, it cheats. It's, it's, it's normal. Let me not call it a cheat. Let me delete these boxes. Delete them all. I'll delete them. Wow, what am I doing? I'll delete them. Delete this one as well. Take this one up. Take this one up as well. What am I doing? I, I should go back. All right, take it up. You hold on to one. It brings you an option that you should select. You select one, select two, select. No, I shouldn't select the picture. Select the cover. Select the third one. No, select this. Select. All right. Now, since I've selected all, the next thing I should do is group them. Now, when I group them, I would want to duplicate it. When I duplicate it like this, I would you know, take it back. Take it back and probably just turn it. Mm -hmm. uh, it's not working though. It's not working. Okay, I should delete it and <laughs> undo it. Do you go what I wanted to do? I wanted to do something there, but it would really take our time. So let me ungroup it and do it manually. Right? I would ungroup. That's fine. That's fine. Then manually do what I wanted to do. I'll duplicate this one because of the size. With I think I missed out on the circle arrangement. All right. Yeah, I will duplicate this one duplicate oh i missed it there duplicate take it down here to the exact spot so make sure it fits all right all right now that's fine that's fine all right that's fine then the next thing i pick this one and then duplicate it as well take it down there to make it fit as well all right you see then the next one i duplicate no i should duplicate the circle at the back all right i will duplicate this one duplicate it and then have it fit i will fit here why am i all right okay then i would duplicate this circle not the circle the frame rather sorry have it be there or rather have it stay there and the next one is i want to pull this one down why is this one ash uh what, sorry <laughs> what am i saying why is this one chocolate i want it to be where i would place my logo that's why i had it that way now you can see how cool it is right now take it up small small i want to have it at the center no at the center yeah this one if i should have it at the center i think some of my works are looking somehow i think some are looking somehow i should adjust this one a bit bits yeah just this one too a bit no all right adjust this one too a bit Oh, sometimes it's just like that. All 
all right then i will take this circle up up that's that's right but discovering the cake i might just want to i might just want to take it down what am i doing I'm messing things up here for real i'm messing things up here for real i knew i was let me undo some things i've done all right All right, still know what I want available. Let me see how the circle best fits there. Ah, uh, not really. I never intended all the circle should obstruct it or stop it from shining. <laughs> All right. Yeah, sometimes design take time because you want everything to be okay. Alright, alright, alright. Wow, 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 wow. So, I think I should take this back a little. Wow, man. Spending a whole lot of time here. Spending more time here. I'm spending time here. I'm spending time here for real. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I'll get, should get this one out of it. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. All right, man. I just hope this fits. Fits, feet, 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 feet. Oh, feed, feed, feed. Okay. Alright. And I should probably reduce it. Wow. Wow. <sighs> that was quiet. <laughs> man. This, well, let's keep going. I should import pictures now. I go to my upload. Click on upload media. Go to SD card where I have it. Then design. Okay, where's the image? Let's go with this. How's it? Wow, wow. That's okay. It's still coming up. It's still loading. But while it's loading, let's get another one. Uh, let me use the cupcake image. While it is still loading, let me get another one. The donuts images. Wow, that is still loading. Let me get some other one. Mmm, yummy meat pie. <laughs> yeah. So, I think the first image I was uploading didn't come up again. Let me let me get it again. It didn't come up. What's the problem? Oh. 
I didn't it come up. It's coming up. Right, that's beautiful. Now the next thing is I click on it. I'll click on it and then up. Oh, what am I doing? Have it remain there. And the next one is I get the image for this. Uh, let's let's get a cupcake there. Okay. Then for this, let's get a donut in it. Mm, yummy donut. <laughs> All right. Then for this, the meat pie. Yummy, 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 yummy. Yummy. Yummy, 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 yummy. <laughs> All right. So, that being said, I don't know why I still feel we should touch this ball. For the sake of this tutorial, you go what I said. Just keep tweaking it until you have exactly what you want. Alright, um, other things can come in. Let's get the name. Actually, this is um, uh, some, some client's work. But I just wanted us to work with it. Oh, I didn't even tell you how I got that while talking. Now, when you want to add text, you go on the icon, the purple circle icon with a cross on it. You scroll down to where you have your text. And this text you have, you, you can choose to add a heading, to add a subheading, or add a little text depending on what you want. So for this, we need a, lo um, a heavy text, so we go with the heading. So, L... A V S Labs. That's the name of the cake or bakery rather. Then already before now I already had a font in mind. But in case you want to change the font, you tap on it. Then this command comes out to either to delete, duplicate, you change the font by clicking on the font and the font I had written out was water lily water lily i tap on it all right now the next thing you might want to do is take it in and reduce it you can do it manually like holding the edge then do increase the the area you want the text to stop out in case you increase or increase the space within it but i okay well, let's do it manually but in case you want to do it with this command you go on font size and then play around with the size all right so let's let's come closer let's come closer and just in case you want to do something and you have an issue you just want to see how it looks like you can hold your pin the okay use your two thumb put it on the on the on the screen and then zoom it in to see it so that's just it love's cake i can have it be here and change the color to i might not use the pure white okay but on this first stop colors they suggested for me these are the colors i've been working with currently so that's why i have it up here so i click on it and then go back that's right i can still add text okay, again if i want i can add text now this time around i don't want a heading but i can add a subheading to it all right loves cakes and snacks what am i right <laughs> cakes and snacks all right and you can reduce it okay now uh -huh. thank god this stuff played out here just in case you can see what's happening here one of the fonts is below but i wrote a sentence now what you need to do is between this circle these two circle on this text you that there, there is um more like a loop between the circle so you just hold on it and you pull it pull it pull it you extend it to have the text now you reduce the text you reduce the text and bring it down below down below but uh this font doesn't look nice i had it in mind to use 
Laura, but Laura, and then I make it slanted. So, where's Laura? I would come to the font and search if I already have it. But please understand that on Canva there are some there are some um, fonts you might see online and come on Canva and not have them here. So you just need to search manual. You just need to try out various fonts to know which suits the exact font you found online. So I've gotten it. Then if I want to make that slanted, I would go to still on it and checking out this command here i would click on the b bold b format here i can align it to the left align it to the right align it to the center then make it slant all right so that's it should probably take it down small or little then should i increase this yeah yeah all right yeah that's beautiful awesome 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 oh let me take the you know one thing with this stuff is you just can't get over what you are doing just take out take your time take your time and get things it's actually right it's actually okay for you to take time and then do things the right way so that's fine um all right the next thing we want to do is add our blocks of text all right and just like i said you go to your element remember you click on that and go to your element the last stuff i searched for was frames that's why you still have the frames here so i would click on cancel i don't want to search for it because i can have it here the lines and shapes so i click on the box all right that's right okay 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 yeah you can just have this here here right here duplicate again duplicate it and have it here yeah but i feel it's too long so let's shorten it yeah something like this duplicate again again and again and again and again all right i think we should use laura outro so go on the text get on get our text uh, this time still the subheading uh, we're we using laura what should be there what we do what we do now that's not laura so i will go to the font yeah I'll get to the font and then choose laura that's okay now but we should bold it we should bold it that's the heading and a way to make it stand out is making it bold so we look for b the tap on it's bold we can duplicate this text instead of getting the text over and over again we should duplicate it bring it down bring it down here click on it and all right i didn't i didn't clear the text very well so Uh, so. All right, so having location, location, that's right, duplicate, uh, context, that's the next thing we are having here. All right. So what am I doing? I can probably increase the 
let's add the text for what we do location our contact All right now since we are still using the same text laura you can click on any of the text i'm clicking on location i'll duplicate it and in order not to get lost at the background i will just have to change the color to chocolate oh sorry about that I'll push this record icon to this side and then take it out leave it here i'll reduce the font size so i can you know so you can accommodate a whole lot of text let's use 19 19 okay all right so this is says um let me get it from the okay it says we bake cakes for different occasions cupcakes snacks okay snacks of different type Right, we align it to the center. That's okay. Okay, or we could also probably reduce and then all right, then we get the details for location. All right, so that's just basically how to do it. I don't want to start putting the location, the contacts, and everything, but that's just it. Basically, the whole thing, the whole idea there is for you to be creative with it. I used Circle. You can try out other shapes, like getting the frames and all. And I said I'll be doing a video on Canva Elements. On my previous video on graphic design for beginners and intermediate if you haven't watched it go back and watch it i will drop the link in the description below and um that being said thank you for watching and please like subscribe and leave a comment below i love you and i appreciate your time on my channel thank you